Hi everyone, it's Simon from Higher Plane Games. Hope everyone having a great day. This is a review for Puss, which is uh, just released on Steam this week. And thanks for the developer for sending me across a copy to take a look at. This game is essentially the computer game version of Buzzwire, or a wire buzzer game. If you've ever played the Moon as a kid, where you'd have like a metal hook that you'd have to try and get round a really complex wire freight, uh, shape. And if your hook touched the wire, it would bzz, and then it would be game over. Uh, and you often see these at like kids' fates and things like that. This is the computer game version. So instead, you are a cat who is sucked into the TV by courteous, courteous of like a VHS styled cutscene. Very vapor wave um, and quite funny in its own like morbid way. Uh, the cat gets sucked into the TV to try and help something that is shouting help through the TV. And you have to maneuver this cat through maze after maze after maze. Now, the mazes are somewhat randomized in terms of how the levels will come up but the same levels do appear time and again and they're designed to frustrate you to confuse you to make you um almost like trip out because it's so psychedelic the colors and it does give you like this massive seizure warning right at the very beginning which is wise because it probably would give you a hell of a seizure if you are epileptic so don't play this game if you are epileptic um there's also no control of option because this is about manoeuvring your mouse through. So you click on the character and then you kind of like move your mouse around. Now I'm old school. I used to have a USB wired mouse uh, and I don't have a mouse mat at the moment. So when I'm trying to play this game, I'm really struggling to get the finessing through. And you can play around with the mouse speed so that your motions match the kit cat movements more easily. But if you tone down the speed of the mouse, then you are in great jeopardy of failing so many levels because it requires so much uh, perfect timing to get through because as you'll see in the gameplay, the levels are moving and changing and flying about and then you'll get cats with laser eyes at you, all of that kind of stuff. And whilst the game is relatively generous, at least initially, with providing you with extra lives, those extra lives go so, so fast. Um, because just when you touch the screen a little bit, it's game over straight away. There's a couple of issues that I do have with the game in terms of its mechanics. So firstly, it is slightly too psychedelic for my eyes. Um, and this balance between being able to be precise versus having to be fast feels a little bit too on the immediately hard scale. There's no like learning curve. It's literally three levels and then you're like, oh my god, all the way through. Although it is still satisfying when you complete a level. Um, where the game slightly falls down for me is in the collision detection. Uh, and that's because it doesn't explain anything to you and you find stuff through trial and error as you go along. So different shapes will kind of move in really like non-fluid ways and you'll just get caught on the edge and you may die immediately. Other times you may scoot along the edge and it will buzz quite a lot before it then gives you up and you lose a life. And there's no sense of rhyme or reason as to like, is that a hard hit? Is that a soft hit? Does that even count? That kind of thing. I think if that got ironed out, this game, I think, would be much higher up my recommendation list for people that like a really weird, obscure, but still quite casual-esque uh, dexterity game, I guess, for want of a better word. Because it's got charm, it's got a good soundtrack, and um, I do like the fact that it's like a glitching TV, so that when you die it kind of goes and you conk out. It is very hard. Uh, and you'll be very frustrated and when you die it's like once you lose all your lives you don't start back where you were you have to go way back to the beginning the levels are randomized so you might get a hard run versus a soft run so you might get further even though you're not actually doing better um but yeah overall i enjoyed my time with puss uh puss sorry not puss oh dear that'd be a different game but those collision detection niggles got on my nerves um and i think i need a really precise mouse to be able to enjoy this game to its fullest because uh, I was getting angry at what I thought wasn't necessarily me losing at the levels it felt like the game was stacking up against me uh, and that didn't feel as fun so I hope that was informative if you like this pus, uh, uh, pus sorry, is out now uh, on Steam uh, pick it up and I believe there is a soundtrack bundle as well and the soundtrack is quite good if you like your chip tunes thanks for watching, bye for now
This channel is just one of my many projects that cover games, music and film. If you enjoy any of these and would consider supporting me to develop further in the future, you can do so by visiting patreon.com forward slash Thank you for your time and for watching the video.